So Sister Mags just returned home from her evening service. Upon entering her living room, she caught a burglar, red-handed. Filled with the Holy Spirit, she tells the man, Acts 238, stop in the name of Jesus! A verse that encourages the reader to turn away from your sins. By the grace of God, the man froze and stayed still, while the woman called the police calmly. Placing the would-be robber under arrest, the officer asks him, Hey man, what made you freeze like that when she only told you a Bible verse? The would-be robber replied, Bible verse? She told me she had an axe and two thirty-eights. <laughs> What up, God people? This is your boy, Will, and this is another episode of Truth It. Uh, just wanted to show you these kittens, because I guess kittens are always entertaining, right? Right? Yeah. Yeah. Today is a stand on what's true Tuesday. You ever want to speak the truth it into someone's life, but then you refrain because you don't want to come off as too Christianity? I used to go to these group meetings, and every time I would mention Jesus, there'd be a lot of eye rolls and belly aching. It got to the point where I wouldn't speak up, even when I felt that God wanted me to really say something to someone. I kind of felt like if I started to speak about Jesus, people would end up hating me. <laughs> wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. Well, guess what? That ain't biblical! We as God's people are always to speak the word, especially when God puts that impression on your heart to do so truth it. Imagine the fear of being hated stopped Moses from going to the Pharaoh and saying, let my people go, sucker. Or Stephen when he stood before the face in the face of his accusers before being stoned to death. They could have remained silent, but they decided to stand on the truth. Truth it. ABC News has reported that Miriam Abraham, this woman in the picture, a Sudanese woman, has been sentenced to death by hanging and being flogged for marrying and converting from Muslim to Christianity. Her marriage to that man right there was annulled because it was a marriage they were married under the Christian views and they considered that not legal. Also, she had when she was sentenced, she was eight months pregnant and she gave birth in prison in shackles. It's been reported that every day uh, guards would go into her prison cell and, and ask her and you know, try to convert her, make her denounce Christianity, but she refused. She decided she is going to stand on the truth, and that is the word of God. Truth it. The BBC has reported that Sudanese Foreign Minister Under Secretary Abdullahi Al-Zaria, and forgive me if I butchered the name, told the news agency that she will be set free. She would also be guaranteed religious freedom. By the grace of God, the outcry and support for this woman and her freedom has actually caused her in Sudan to be released and possibly unharmed. Unfortunately, there's many others who are still being persecuted every day for believing in the word of God. Let's go to the Bible. <laughs> 1 Samuel 12, 24. But be sure to fear the Lord and serve him faithfully with all your heart. Consider what great things he has done for you. Truth it. So on this Stand on What's True Tuesday, make sure you today and always stand on the truth. Never be afraid to speak what is right and what is the truth. Truth it. Before I'm out of here, let me give a couple shout outs. I'd like to first give a shout out to my cousin Matthew. He preached on uh, Miriam, this woman's struggle. He preached on that, even though there's sirens going on in the background. He preached on that this Saturday and he did a really, really good job. Really touched my heart. His sermon was off the hook. And if you have a chance to go to Bay State Chapel on Saturdays, it's a great time. I, I encourage you all to go and check it out. Truth it. That's all I got for today. If you like the video, please click the like at the bottom below down there. Uh, you know, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I appreciate the love and the support. And thank you always for supporting Truth It. And as always, to God be the glory.